Hey, what's going on, people? It's TRB, and um, I have a Facebook uh, community page. My Facebook community page is I am TRB. You can go over there, ask me all the questions because I, I have I get inundated with comments on my uh, YouTube. Go over there. Uh, I should answer. I should respond to your question within seven days or less. <laughs> this is not Skeeter. It's Two Pace. All right. So here's a pretty good question that uh, I was asked. So this particular individual uh, has a limo business in New York and want to do something different. Uh, he asked me, should he go get his freight broker license before he get a CDL? And yes, he can afford to buy a truck. So here was my response to him. I told him to go get his freight broker license first since he's already got a business and that business uh, should be making him money. Um, go get his freight broker license first. Once he gets his freight broker license, dip his toe in the freight broker a little bit, and then come out here and train to drive a truck. Why did I say that? It's because he can make money while he's on the truck with his trainer. He can make money while he's in school, and all he's doing is dispatching trucks, right? And I told him, then come out and get your CDL. Once you get your CDL, uh, I would say drive solo for about, a, um, I'm going to say about three months, you know, just, to, just so he can learn how to handle the truck before he actually go buy his own truck um so i told him all he can do all this within a year or less all right so he goes from his limo business he go while he's doing his limo business he go to freight broker school while he's in freight broker school for a couple months just to get that experience learn how to do freight brokerage and everything then he can go and then deal with the bs that we had to deal with with uh training to drive a truck being on the truck with a, with your mentor for x amount of time and then actually driving solo and since he already got the money to go buy his own truck, he don't have to be out there that long. The reason why I say uh, freight brokers first and then go buy, uh, then go company, uh, just so he can get the experience. I'd rather him come out here, learn how to how to drive a truck and tear up everybody else's equipment before he actually go get his. And then once he see some of the trials and tribulations that his drivers will have to deal with, he have a better understanding of what it is that he wants to um, when his driver would be like, I can't make it because, you know, I'm stuck here in snow. <clears throat> he'll have an idea of that, you know, or my hours right now. He'll understand hours of service. So, you know, even if he was like, hey, I need this load there immediately, the guy would be like, how many hours do you have on your 70? The guy would be like, I got 23 hours, but it takes 30 hours to get to where he's going. And he knows he can't take that load because he understands the hours of service, different things like that. <clears throat> Not only that, once he do um, get a little experience on his belt, understand his freight brokerage um when he gets out there um i just lost my whole train of thought <laughs> once he gets out there he uh oh once he gets his own equipment uh he knows exactly what type of equipment he needs and he understands how to maintain that equipment and because he, he's probably going to focus on getting his own truck, he'll look at truck driving a lot different than me and you because we're looking we're looking on how to get in the business. But he's already going to have both sides of the business as well as being in a truck and understanding, you know, the maintenance of the truck, how the truck runs, what's this, what's that, what's this. And he can learn everything he needs to know and somebody else's equipment before uh, he jumps into his. Right. So here's my question to you all. How do you feel about that? If you got somebody out here that can afford to buy a truck right now, would you tell them to go get their CDLs and then go buy a truck and then do freight brokerage? Would you say freight brokerage, CDLs, and then go buy your truck? Would you say CDL, freight broker? What would you do in that situation? It's TRB. I'm asking for, um, for a subscriber. He, he hit me up on uh, my Facebook. I am TRB. And I would definitely like, like to get the information out there and see what you guys think about it. All right, let's get it from a few different angles. Um, some people are going to go say straight out buy a truck <laughs> even though he ain't even got his CDLs yet some people are going to say uh, go to a truck driving school and then once you get done with that truck driving school and get your CDLs go buy a truck you know a lot of people probably say go buy a truck as soon as possible I say go through the training learn how to tear up they, uh, tear up they shit and then come back to your shit <laughs> It's TRB. As always, thank you for stopping by. I would definitely like for you guys to be active in the comments about what do you think this particular individual should do. All right? I'll holler at you. Peace.